Continuing coverage on a story near the U of A. Some residents under eviction tonight, but they say they are being unfairly targeted. It's been three weeks since Kagan 9 first reported bottles and even pumpkins falling from balconies near the Islamic Center. The center says it put up with it for about a year before it went public. Now the dorm has told four students they have until Monday to move out. Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live at the Islamic Center with more on what's happening there. Well, Guy, you do not have to be a physics major to understand something falling off one of these balconies could kill someone. Now, this tower is a privately owned dorm called Level. Behind it is the Islamic Center. The company that owns Level says surveillance video shows one of the balconies things fell from towards that Islamic Center parking lot. The company says that is enough to evict. The residents being evicted and their parents say it's not. You can clearly see items falling from the dorm balconies headed for the parking lot at the Islamic Center. And it's not hard to understand those things could hurt or even kill someone. Now the dorm management has told at least four students it has video that traces fallen objects back to their balcony. So they are out. Benjamin is one of those students. He asks us not to show his face or use his real name. He says the first time he heard there might be some trouble is when dorm management showed him video of his balcony. We have no idea who it was, what it was. Uh, the video surveillance is very unclear. The families say on November 13th, dorm management warned all residents dropping items off balconies would get them evicted. But the families say their kids are getting evicted for an incident that happened four days before that warning. Management says the eviction order stands because even without the warning, the lease makes it clear residents are responsible for controlling what happens in their apartments, even if somebody else did it. The Islamic Center is sorry tenants might be evicted for something someone else may have done in their apartment, but... At some point, they need to collectively understand that when something comes from their apartment, you know, they really need to be held responsible for it. So it is really their job to make sure that whoever shares the apartment with them needs to act responsibly. You live in a place, you're responsible for it, period. And they really needed to understand that. I mean, I'm so... Now, we talked with council member Steve, uh, Steve Kazacek. He brought together a lot of the parties worried about this issue. He says there was an understanding all along that even if they could not specifically identify who was dropping things off the balcony, that the students who are living where that balcony is would be responsible and would be evicted. Now, the students do have until Monday. The families say the dorm is evicting on such short notice. They do not know how they'll find a place to live for the rest of the semester. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.